Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about hands, all about hands. So uh, it's come up in um, particularly like large and busy worlds that people are being um, asked to wear heads and hands avatars uh, more frequently, especially in big meetings or, or conferences, etc. Just because there's a, a reduced lag on the sort of IK of a full avatar if you're wearing a head and hands avatar. Now, um, for those unfamiliar with a heads and hands avatar, it looks uh, something a little bit like, uh, actually, hold on. I'm going to grab one from my inventory because the one I've spawned doesn't work for some reason. Uh, that's fine, I got it here. There it is. It looks something like this, where, you know, you've got the uh, the hands here with the uh, robot look and the the, um, the randomized color of the uh, of the hands here. Sometimes you'll see people have put in, like, other objects on top, like, for example, this one here has a, a kind of cool sort of robot looking thing going on. Um, but today I want to show you how to do custom hands, so uh, let's get started. So uh, in front of me here, I've got two avatar examples, um, I'm going to fly around, that I've created using uh, this concept. Let me just deselect that, because there's a... Maybe I included the gizmo in the avatar there, it doesn't really matter. Um, here's some two examples here, so we've got um, a goggles uh, avatar, and then this uh, skull avatar, where his uh, eyes kind of sort of follow you around. And they've both got custom hands set up, so if I equip this avatar, you'll see I've got these quite comically large hands, but that's fine. Um, this is just the test setup to sort of talk about hands and show you how these hands work, etc. So if you're interested, let's get started. I'm going to hop back to my avatar just because I'm more comfortable um, editing things in my avatar. I uh, lost track of it in the avatar switching. There we go. And we're going to uh, get rid of this one too. We're going to go over to, first of all, this hand here because it's a, a good reference model. Um, the models for this one and all the other hands that we're going to be using are going to be in a video description. Um, along with some uh, other sort of pointers and videos if they come up. So this is a reference hand used for um, people who are drawing hands or maybe people who are looking to model hands um, and it uses kind of, I don't know, Lego pieces to, to model the hand. Um, and I wanted to just sort of talk about the structure of a hand and show you how hands work. So if I go ahead and inspect this hand with my dev tooltip, I can bring it up and I go. I can go to the top. This is just one hand in a very good model. Um, sometimes you'll see there's uh, extraness stuff added, but this really only includes the bits of the hand that we need. So under the forearm here, uh, you'll see that there is a hand bone, and this represents the uh, the whole hand here that we need. Underneath this hand are um, a bone for each finger. And you'll notice that if we go down the finger bones, that it goes down um, usually three levels and then stops at an end bone. End bones aren't like an extra bone that you can manipulate, they're just to sort of signal where the end of the bone is. And that's where Neos usually puts the, the tip of your finger on. So if you push a button with your finger, that's usually where the, um, the tip source goes. Uh, so you'll see here that the uh, first index bone here is, is uh, the end of the green area. And that the uh, second one is the end of the pink area. And that the last one is the end of that uh, orange area. So it's, it's a little bit um, hard sometimes to get your head around it because you're always looking at the, the bone sort of below. And that's just the way that bones work. They're sort of just coordinates in space. And when they, they move and rotate, the, the mesh um, will respond to that. Uh, so that's the, the hand structure here. And it's all of these bones rotating. Uh, in response to how you're moving your controllers that gives us our hand posing on uh, inside Neos. So I want to show you how to set this up um, uh, for custom. Like usually what you would do for a regular avatar, check my other avatar videos, links in the description, um, is you would put the whole avatar within the avatar setup and you would um, you know, put the hand on the hand, the hand model on the hand, hang on give me a second here, tools, avatar creator, you'd put this hand um, on, the oh on the appropriate hand. There we go. And then you'd hit create and it would find the hand and set it all up for you. But when you're doing custom hands, you need to do a little bit more work. And this is the work that you need to do. So first of all, is to find or create your hand model. Make sure it looks a little bit like this, where you've got a hand bone. You've got um, ideally three bones per fingers, but you can also pose uh, what are called metacarpals. Now, metacarpals are a medical term for um, a bone that's part of the finger that's kind of sort of inside the main body of the hand. You can see on this model, though it's not reflected in the bone, by these green bones here. These are kind of like in the body of the hand, but like not... Um, not actually part of the hand. They're you know part of the um, 
part of the finger itself. If I spawn the skeleton avatar from Neos Essentials, you'll also see this a little bit more. Uh, this isn't an anatomy lesson on, on, on bones. I don't know all the bone names. Um, they're very complicated. But again, here you'll see these are metacarpals. Uh, you, do, do, you only need them uh, optionally. You don't, you don't have to sort of do them. I will, um, like I said, I will provide a link to the uh, hand rigs here and also this one here um, in the video description. So with all of this set up and imported, you'll notice that it should come in as a, um, a rig with uh, you know all the bones specified, etc. And it should also come in with a skinned mesh render. We can find that usually underneath the armature. Here's the skin mesh renderer for this hand, and you'll see um, a skin mesh renderer of all the bones listed. The skin mesh renderer is the bit that makes the bone, um, the bones deform when when things happen. So when I curve this, it's it's deforming with the weight painting to those hands. To make this work as a hand, if you go to um, armature forearm hand, on the hand here. You can go to attach component, and we're going to need a couple here, and uh, this can get quite confusing, so do bear with me. Um, go to rendering, and then go to biped rig, and leave that there for the moment. And then go to users, common avatar system, fingers, hand poser, and now push the following buttons. So you first of all need to figure out which hand you're looking at. Um, look at your own hands if you're if you're confused. This is a right hand, you'll see, because my, my thumb goes out to the right on here on this hand and on that hand there. So we're going to set this here to right. We're going to here on the biped rig select detect right hand and you'll see right is, is then uh, selected. Then scroll to the bottom of the hand poser, do assign from rig and you'll see all of these magically get filled. You'll see that it's uh, skipped the metacarpals in some sections. That's because again, there's just not enough bones to um, have that, that's fine. And then hit initialize hand at the bottom and that will make sure everything is set up for you. And then your hand is set up. If you want to just test out this hand, there's a great gadget that I put in my utilities folder. I'll show you where that is. You go to utilities and then it's right there, avatar slot opener. This is selected to right hand. And when I then hit open on this, you'll get my existing right hand. And the reason we need that is because hand posing works through what's called a pose source. You'll see it here in this pose source field here. And I'm using this gadget here, the um, slot opener, to cheat and get to my hand, oh, get to my hand quickly. So you see here it's assigned. Finger post stream manager on user problem prime. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna put it into the pose source on the hand poser. And now you'll see, let me do select everything. Now you'll see, let me get rid of this tool. That this test hand is now following my finger movements on um on this hand and on my actual hand. So this is how you can do custom hands here. So I hope that shows you how um, these hands work. We're now gonna go on to how to set up hands for the um, avatar creators. There's a little, uh, few more steps there, depending on your hand rig. So we're gonna go over to these um, uh, flesh colored hands here and uh, set these up. I've got the left hand and right hand um, avatar slot openers here just so that I can quickly test them once I'm done. If you want to follow along this part, um, this is actually edited from the source model. So I'll link the source model, but I had to kind of chop off the rest of the arms because it came from a sort of first person shooter arm set where um, it's designed where you know you can see the arm like you can see my arms here in the, ca in the camera, but I just wanted the hands. So I kind of chopped off the hands, cleaned up the armature, and then filled in the back of the hands there with um, uh, uh, some mesh so that you don't see into the hands because that's a bit creepy. These do still look a little bit creepy, I understand that, but uh, that's uh, that's what you get sometimes of just floating hands. They look okay once they're set up. So in my uh, public folder under tutorials, avatar tutorials hands, you'll see that there are two sets of these hands. There is the clean hands and the setup hands. Use the setup ones if you wanna just play around with already set up hands, use the clean ones if you're following along on this tutorial. So with those uh, clean hands spawned out, so we've got the clean left hand, the clean right hand. I'm gonna go ahead again, grab my dev tool tip, inspect the hand, anywhere on the hand's good, go up to the top and you'll see left hand clean. There's also the left hand mesh here, which has the skinned mesh render on it. I've tried to make this um, hierarchy as clear as possible on both. Underneath the armature here, you've got hand L and then underneath here are all the um, uh, finger bones for that. So if you select hand L, you go to attach components, just like we did over there, we go to rendering, 
uh, biped rig. And then uh, it is the left hand. So you say detect left hand. It'll say here's left hand true. We go to attach component, users, common avatar system, fingers, hand poser. We're also going to need another component here. So attach component, users, common avatar system, fingers, avatar finger pose source assigner. I know that's a mouthful, but it's very important. I'll explain what it does as we go. Um, avatar fing finger pose source assigner will um, assign your user's pose source to the hand when you equip it. So it's very uh, important that you have one of these on the hand. I usually put exactly where the hand poser is. So to set it up, what you need to do is go to the top of the hand poser, um, grab pose source, so make, hover over it till it turns blue, grab it, you'll see pose source on your laser, and then you can scroll to the bottom and drop it into target reference here, and you'll see it says sync ref one on hand L. That means it's set up. With this set up, we need to just double check that the pose source is set to left, which it is. And then because of the biped rig, which does all the work for us here, we can hit assign from rig and then initialize hand, and then it's done. Strangely enough, I had some issues keeping the biped rig component there whilst um, setting it up as a hand. So I recommend removing the biped rig afterwards. I'm not sure if this is required. I just couldn't get the avatar to work with it there. So I just remove it. I also take the hand L bone here and I put this into the hand root. I'm not sure if that does anything. It just looks more complete to me when I do that. So that is the left hand setup. We can test that the left hand is set up by using this, hitting open on the left hand here, which opens up my left hand, grabbing the finger pose, the source assigner, and chuck it into here. And you'll see that this hand is now posing nicely with all the fingers moving. If you thought that was a lot to handle, that's no problem, because we're about to do the exact same thing on the right hand, so here we go. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, clear that pose source on the left hand here by uh, clearing it out. So we're going to go to armature, uh, armature handle, and then clear the pose source, done. That will reset the hand back to a resting pose and be ready for the avatar creator. Next on the right hand here, we're going to go inspect. We're going to go up to the top, we're going to go to armature, hand R, attach component, rendering, biped rig, detect right hand this time, you'll see right hand true, then go to attach component, users, uh, we're going to do things a bit differently this time just to make things easier, which is if we do the pose um, source assigner first, it'll be at the top of the list, which will be a lot easier once we add the hand poser. So pose source assigner, and then users, common avatar system, fingers, hand poser and now you'll see because we did the pose source assigner first we can grab pose source and chuck it straight into there important note on the right hand is to set the hand poser to the right um, hand not the left hand because we're now doing the right hand scroll to the bottom hit assign from rig initialize hand scroll back up to the top remove biped rig set the pose uh, oh, not the pose source the hand root done and then we're going to go ahead and use the right hand here to chuck this across. And close that again. And now you'll notice that the right hand is posing nicely. And then we'll clear out that pose source and you'll see it goes back to normal. With that, you've got two setup hands and that exact setup here like if I grab this and save it, that's exact setup that you'd have, is the setup which is in the tutorials folder, um, avatar tutorials, hands, and it's the setup. That's it. literally exactly the same, almost the same um, picture-wise as well. They're just a little bit further apart inside the inventory here. With these two hands now set up, we can take these hands, two, two, I missed one. We can take these two hands and we can take them to some empty space over here. And then we can just pick sort of any model to be our head. So I'm going to go into Neos Essentials here and I'm going to go to 3D models and I'm going to just look for something, something strange. I'm going to go for random. We've got here, we've got a, a box of mustard. That sounds funny. So here's a, a box of mustard. Um, that's probably an inside joke here. I don't really know what's going on, but it's fine. It's just to show you how, you know, how much more customization you can get with some custom hands. Here we can go to tools, avatar creator, and you'll see the avatar creator like per normal. Um, follow the part one of my tutorial um, on avatars if you're interested in creating a head and hands avatar uh, with the default hands, but we can use these custom hands that we set up here. So we're going to put our box of mustard inside the head pose. 
And then we're going to grab these hands. Now make sure you get these the right way around, or you're going to have um, confusion, basically. We're going to put the left one in the left. And it doesn't need to line up um, exactly with the, the ghost hand that's there. Just make sure it lines up good enough. You know, roughly. There we go. Now you want to make these hands smaller, you can do that, um, they are resizable, That's, but I'm just going to leave them as they are. I'm going to hit create, and then I'm going to go ahead and equip the avatar, and I'm going to hop into third person. And you'll see that I'm now a box of mustard with custom hands. I'm going to go back into smooth POV, you'll see my hands are all working. They are comically large, but that's no worries. i go boot myself on the head. Um, you'll also see that over here this hand is still moving, that's a bit creepy, I didn't intend that, but that's fine. And that's all there is to it, to uh, custom hands. If you're interested in making custom hands and you'd like more information on the rig requirements or something like that, please do take a look at this hand. It's a it's a good setup. There are also some other custom hands going on. Um, H3, I believe, handed me um, some hands that look like... Uh, where are they? They look like this. They're kind of sort of uh, robot-y hands. So just some POV so you can see them a bit. Uh, these also work exactly the same. They've been set up exactly the way I've shown you. And they were actually prompt me to make this tutorial. So big thanks to H3 for uh, making that tutorial. With that being said, that's all I've got for you on custom hands. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. Check the comments for some other videos. And I will see you again soon um, for maybe we'll do eyes next. Who knows? Um, there'll certainly be an eye video coming up soon. I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.